Um, so something else we want to talk about today is that we've talked a lot about tagging. <laughs> um, and we hear a lot from, from clients that it's difficult sometimes to get tracking tags on their site or analytics installed on every page and things like that. Um, so we want to touch on Google Tag Manager, which is a relatively new product um, that has got a great price point. It's free. Uh, it's from Google. And ultimately what it does is it lets you take all of these different tags on your site that are in many places um, and then in some cases can be very difficult to manage and let them come into the site via one unified container. So you're basically putting one snippet on the site and then um, through an, a web interface, through a cloud-based interface, able to inject coding onto the site, whether it's analytics tracking code, Bing conversion coding, AdWords conversion coding, etc. cetera. Um, it can be all handled through here. And as a marketer, you don't have to involve IT once this is done, and that's fantastic. Um, unfortunately, we have clients sometimes you know, waiting months and even longer <laughs> to get tracking codes on the site. So you can add tag tags immediately as a marketing um, you know, as a marketer, get those right up on the site without help from IT. You get great data, uh, and it's super simple. So, uh, Google Tag Manager is a great new tool. Uh, I, I do want to just spend some time on this last slide. It's very. This is probably um, companies and organizations might do a good job of, of crossing all their eyes and all the T's of, of everything else we talked about. Um, but this is something that we see uh, as, a, as a huge problem, and that's not investing in analysis. Um, so there has to be an investment in people to go into analytics and pull this data out. It only collects information, um, and with the exception of alerts, doesn't really um, you know, tell you what you need to do. Um, so it's very important that you spend time on analysis, and that investment is either you know, in, in a resource, a new resource to, to do that full time, or, or part-time or whatever it might be, or some of your time to do it, or um, to get some help and, and let some experts come in and do some analysis for you and point out weaknesses on the site, you know, weaknesses in your marketing and areas that you could improve. And just for you know, a couple examples of, of you know, just hypothetically what it could do for you, if you're an e-commerce site with a 2% conversion rate, and you can find another 10% in your in uh, you know to, in your conversion rate to increase that by 10 percent, so up from two to 2.2 percent, um, you know you know it's a pretty significant increase in in revenue. Or let's say you've already worked very hard on on the conversion uh, aspect and you're you're getting everything you can out of your site. You can't change that two percent, um, but through analysis you find that you can spend wiser more wisely on your marketing. Um, so you're able to increase the visits to the site you know by 10 percent. Again, significant increase in revenue. And then ultimately, perfect world, you're able to do both. You're able to get your conversion rate up and the visits to the site up. Um, you know, investing in a, not investing in analysis in people is probably the, the number one um, problem. And I say, you know, uh, to, to borrow from Avinash, who we mentioned before, you know, his 90-10 rule, which is of every $100 you're spending on, on marketing, um, you know, ten dollars should be on the tool and ninety on on, on people to, to really help you with the analysis 